everyone. As you can see, we have another Star Wars The Black Series figure in front of us. This is one of the first in the Rogue One series that, the, that Hasbro announced earlier this year. Uh, and this is, of course, K2SO, the Imperial Droid. Uh, so what we're going to do today is take a closer look at K2SO. Uh, I unboxed an earlier version of K2SO, and I'll make sure to include a link of that up here. Uh, it's a much older figure, but uh, it's basically the same figure as this, so I'm not going to have him up here to compare, just because he's basically the same. Uh, but I'm adding him to the shelf because you can have, never have too many droids, especially either on a Rogue One uh, shelf or with other uh, Imperial droids as well. So what we're going to do is take a look at the outside of the box, take a look at K2SO's articulation, take some pictures, come back and talk about what we learned while taking those pictures. So uh, let's take a look at the box first. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's K2SO. Uh, I ended up getting him from GameStop. I'm not sure if any of the other retailers are... Um, shipping him right now i don't know but uh i'll leave a link to the amazon link if i can find one just because they're easier to link to than at gamestop so anyways uh we've got this uh bluish color bluish green color here across the bottom rogue one a star wars story k2so we've got the cool looking mural here on the back here uh, K2SO is number three in the series, and it says, A reprogrammed Imperial security droid, now loyal to the Alliance. K2SO is an alarming sight standing within a secret rebel base. The pragmatic droid is an effective insertion agent, as he can blend in perfectly at Imperial installations and outposts. All right, and we're following that along, and we are back to the front of the box. Let's go ahead and take him out. Get our trusty knife here, and we go from the bottom on this channel here, and take that piece of tape. It's definitely the easiest way to go. And that's that. Don't need that. And then, pick up the actual figure himself, and that's all that's in the box. So that's it. Um, man. He's an awesome droid. All right, I'm going to get everything cleaned up, and we'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, he's a tall figure. Maybe he's a little hard to tell. Um, I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and bring over another figure that I recently unboxed on the channel, Aura Singh. Um, and there you go as far as the height difference. I mean, whoo! He is menacing, as they say. All right, so we'll take sing and put her down over there uh but that's just a good example of, of his height and we can go a step further here and he is over six inches tall as you can see so that brings us to 5.7 to there and then yeah, plus another 1.3. So he's at least seven inches tall. Uh, like I said, very imposing. I think he's a great looking figure. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at him first. There he is standing in front of you. The back of him, I think they did a really good job. I mean, the, the attention to detail on this figure, I think they did a really good job on. Um, and... Let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation now. Head down, head up. You can see he's always got it a little bit of a tilt. You know, that's about as far up as he's gonna go. Uh, he's always gonna be looking down at your figures, um, even Chewy. Uh, so that's what we've got as far as arms all the way up. Uh, no movement at the upper elbow, I mean, upper uh, shoulder area. I always do that. Uh, but you got good movement at the elbow there. And as you can see, that's about what you're going to get. Almost perfect 90. With his arms, I almost feel like we should get more movement. But as you can see, his elbows will go all the way around. Wrists go 360 but it is a left right movement on that uh 
torso little bit of movement I, I i would say basically no movement on the torso do a little bit of a split legs though good motion you do have movement here at the hip and you're going to need that to get him to stand up um, he is a tall figure so sometimes it is hard to get him to stand up legs front and back and then you do have turning at both the top and the bottom oh actually you've got that at the arm too so basically above the elbow and below the elbow both have movement so this droid is very flexible and you can get them to stand in pretty much any position if you can get them to stay up um, that's a whole other discussion um, and so at the foot let's see if we get any twist movement at the foot we do not um and the the joints they are filled in so you're not going to be able to put anything through them so that that's said and not that i'm saying that you'd want to i'm just letting you know all right uh so as you can see you are able to get them to stand up pretty well uh, just pointing out some of the things i'm seeing right away you've got the metallic edges i really like the arms here you know that's truly metallic and then you've got the the little wear marks as well on the feet and on the knee areas and shin ish areas as well um, i think one of my favorite areas is actually here on the back i think they did a really good job here and then i i like how you've got the the fact that he's not a perfect droid he is uh he has seen battle um so i think that's actually really good all right, so let's go ahead and take some pictures. If you have any questions while we're doing that, again, make sure you're asking down below. Alright, so that was K2SO. Like I said, he's basically the same figure that we got when he was a red box Black Series figure. Um, I'm glad they brought him back though, especially with all the other Star Wars, uh, the Black Series Rogue One figures. Um, some things to point out. Um, I don't think I actually said anything about the antenna on the back. I did focus on that area. Uh, the metallic area on the hips, I think super cool. The faded Imperial symbols, they did a really good job on that. Um, overall, I mean, this is an awesome figure. You can't say no to a droid. I can't say no to a droid. I definitely can't say a no to a droids or troopers, but that's a whole other story. Um, so yeah, good looking figure. Definitely one to pick up. I'm glad that the eyes are correct in this one because if you don't know, there are some that have red eyes, but we're not going to talk about those earlier figures. Anyways, uh, so yeah, good figure. If you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting, like Star Wars and Star Wars The Black Series, going to theme parks, home automation, electronics, that sort of thing. So if any of that interests you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a great day.